74% of viewers watching this video right now are making a huge mistake when it comes to playing Fortnite Zero Build that is massively slowing down their skill improvement. And I'd guess that about 20% of those viewers are going to watch this video, reject this advice, and just keep playing the game the same way they always have, growing their skills at a snail's pace. And that's okay but I wanna to try to help you out. So what is the mistake that we're talking about? Playing to win. That's right, I think that playing to win is generally a bad thing for about 70% of players. And what I'm really saying is that 70% of players out there are making the mistake of focusing way too much on looting up and avoiding fights until they are totally kitted out, which in the long run is very detrimental to their improvement because it slows down their learning significantly. So let's talk about how to fix this. Now, during all of my training sessions and master squad sessions, I have seen this scenario countless times. A team member marks a POI that is rarely contested and has a great loot path from the edge in. They go on explaining each step of their looting process and all the buildings to hit along the way to the forecast tower and then the path to hiring the best bots. Meanwhile, alarms are going off in my head. You see, what a lot of players are doing and often without realizing it, are spending 75% of their playtime looting to get the perfect loadout and then avoiding fights until they are totally ready for them. And honestly, if you want to improve, you need to do the opposite. You need to instead spend 75% of your game fighting, hunting, and navigating dangerous scenarios. You see, this is like going to battle without ever doing basic training for combat. How do the best military operatives in the world become comfortable in combat? They train around the clock and put in as much time as possible getting comfortable in combat, learning combat tactics, and learning strategies. So here's what I recommend for people trying to improve their gameplay. Always drop at popular POIs where you're guaranteed to get fights. Spend about a few minutes at most getting essential pieces of weaponry and equipment and then spend the rest of the game hunting other players until the end game. That sounds crazy, right? You can't do that. You aren't that player. Well, you know why you aren't that player? Because you haven't had enough combat in real games to become that player. You're probably scared of combat unless you feel really set up with a major tactical or strategic advantage. But even with that advantage, it turns out that you still lose 90% of your game Games because you performed poorly in combat at the end of the game. I've seen players not even take a single fight until there are less than 10 players left in the game. And the first fight they run into, they freeze up and die. The truth is strategy, loot, and even tactics don't mean all that much if you can't perform combat well under pressure. Better equipment does not make a better soldier. Experience and knowledge does. You need to learn to be the player who can fight with a gray pistol and no shields and beat players who are fully kitted out with endgame loot just by using your environment well. The type of player who can get rezzed by their squad and immediately turn the tides of battle with whatever loadout they find. Find first. And I'm not saying that you should go the whole game with bad loot. What I'm saying is you want to speed up your own looting process so that you can go hunt other players, improve your own skills. And then once you eliminate a couple players, you're usually going to have a very solid loadout yourself, especially if you eliminate players coming from larger POIs or POIs with good loot. So yeah, oftentimes the best way to get good loot is just by eliminating players who are going to have that loot. Let them spend all their time looting up for you and then just steal their stuff. So where do we start? Through repetition of combat. I highly recommend playing in creative game modes to hone your combat skills, as well as watching my videos to learn how to fight effectively using your surroundings, positioning, and tactics. I have designed and built a free-for-all map with realistic combat called Shinobi Zero Build Realistic Free-for-All. The map code for this map will be in the video description and comments below. I highly encourage you to go into this game with a skill set in mind that you are there to train. That's right, just choose one combat skill to work on and then drill it. 
Let the ego go. This is not a competition. You are just trying to improve yourself. Maybe the skill you're working on is using better cover. So you get in there and you just move from cover piece to cover piece and hide as much of your body as possible while fighting, making sure to always be a step away from cover. Maybe you want to work on positioning. So you're always analyzing the environment and finding the best spot to be depending on the other enemy's locations. This map was designed to make combat more realistic and less about jumping on people's heads and taking 50-50 fights out in the open, much like you'll find in game modes like The Pit or Red vs Blue. The map has enough space, enough cover, and enough equipment items to give you a lot of opportunities to find advantages in fights. Now, if you're getting body slammed in this mode or any creative mode, you really need to analyze each one of your deaths and determine a reason for your death. How could you have survived or played better? Maybe you need to be exiting bad fights with mobility earlier on and repositioning to an advantageous spot. So you really got to take accountability for your deaths. Pretty much every single death is your fault in some way. And if you can figure out what the issue is, then you know what you need to work on. Now, aside from practicing in creative modes, you need to start dropping hot and real battle royale games and seeking out as many fights as possible. Don't play just to survive. Play for the action and the combat practice. Forget about your win rate for now. If you keep playing like this, your win rate will eventually double or triple because you can now go back to being strategic and still be very deadly in fights. Now you're a very dangerous player. Playing like this will not only improve your skills, but I promise you'll have more fun in the long run. You can argue about it all you want, but there is no better feeling in Fortnite than winning a great fight or having a really high action game where you feel like you've put together all the combat skills and tactics you've learned to outplay your opponents in every single engagement. Now, I'm really not trying to diss on anyone, but I think that some passive players have convinced themselves that playing a survival game and basically a running simulator is more fun because winning every Every once in a while feels a lot better than constantly dying in their first few engagements. But if they just push through the initial pain to improve in combat and really learn how to be effective in battle, they'd be having a lot more fun even when playing a more strategic type of game. Because at any point they can just flip that switch, get aggressive, and outplay opponents or just turn the odds of a bad fight. Do we really play Fortnite to sit under a staircase and wait for five minutes at a time until an uns suspecting player comes along to open a vault and then you shoot them in the back. Is that really all that satisfying? Then proceeding to spend another 15 minutes avoiding all action just to make it to an end game and die to a better player. That sounds extremely boring to me and I'd rather do other things with my time. I don't care how patient or strategic of a player you are, you should be able to recognize that there are objectively more fun ways to play this game than sitting around and waiting or just collecting things. Fortnite has so many advanced and fun gameplay mechanics that you can take advantage of to maximize your fun and get that blood pumping. What I'm saying is, if we're being completely honest with ourselves, we'd rather be masters of combat and dominate fights rather than run around the map being a pacifist. We've just never known how to become that player. So I'm challenging you to force yourself to learn combat and enjoy taking fights. Yes, you're gonna lose a ton of fights and it's gonna be painful sometimes, but over time, your ability to win is going to skyrocket. Losing a fight is not the end of the world, it's just a video game. Get comfortable with failure and use it as a lesson instead of an emotional state. What can you learn from your last death? I highly recommend watching your last death and reviewing it just the way I teach you to in my video, how to improve at any game three times as fast. This is exactly how I grew my skills tenfold over the course of 12 months of playing Fortnite. And if you want to see how I did that, I recommend watching my video, how I got good at Fortnite. Fortnite. Remember, once you turn into a more aggressive player who seeks out combat, you can always go back to a slower, more strategic playstyle and still be deadly in combat if that's how you want to play. And I promise you'll win more games than you ever have once your combat skills have grown. It will no longer be a matter of being in the right place at the right time with the right equipment. You'll be able to make almost any environment or loadout work. So if you accept this challenge, let me know in the comments below by typing the words 
game on somewhere in your comment. This is your first step on your path to combat improvement and tells yourself that you are really committing to it. Or maybe you're part of the 20% who rejects this advice and wants to do things differently. That is okay, as long as you're still having fun playing the game. At the end of the day, that's really what it's all about. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider using code TOBYWANSHINOBI in your Fortnite item shop. And if you haven't watched my must watch playlist for Fortnite Zero Build on my YouTube channel, you've got to go watch it. I promise it will improve your gameplay. And if you want to take things a step further, join us as a Shinobi clan member and join at the master level for access to training three days a week with myself and other master members. Additionally, any level of membership will get you access to the private discord full of great resources and awesome people. Click the join button or the link in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day. Shinobi out.